Hello. Welcome to all of you. Welcome to Emmanuel Church of the Deaf. I am your deacon, Pat Graybill. I am the priest, Father Ray Fleming. Again, welcome. Today is the beginning of a new church year. It is the first Sunday of Advent. Perhaps you noticed we are in purple now. There are four weeks until Christmas. Well, less than four weeks, really. Welcome. We begin our joyous new year in the name of the the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to be ready for Advent, we first turn to God to ask that he help us to always be ready. Lord, you came for us Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, you motivate us. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, help us to be ready. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and grant us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant your faithful, we pray, Almighty God, the resolve to run forth to meet your Christ with righteous deeds at his coming, so that gathered at his right hand they may be worthy to possess the heavenly kingdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. You, Lord, are our Father, our Redeemer, you are named forever. Why do you let us wander, O Lord, from your ways, and harden our hearts, so that we fear you not? Return for the sake of your servants, the tribes of your heritage. O oh, that you would rend the heavens and come down, with the mountains quaking before you, while you wrought awesome deeds we could not hope for, such as they had not heard of from old. Nor ear has ever heard, no eye ever seen, any God but you doing such deeds for those who wait for him. Would that you might meet us doing right, that we were mindful of you in our ways. Behold, you are angry, and we are sinful. All of us have become like unclean people. All our good deeds are like polluted rags. We have withered like leaves, and our guilt carries us away like the wind. There is none who calls upon your name, who rouses himself to cling to you. For you have hidden your face from us, and have delivered us up to our guilt. Yet, O Lord, you are our Father, we are the clay, and you the potter. We are all the works of your hands, the word of the Lord. Lord, make us turn to you, let us see your face, and we shall be saved. Lord, make us turn to you, let us see your face, and we shall be saved. O shepherd of Israel, hearken, from your throne upon the cherubim, shine forth. 
Rouse your power and come to save us. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face and we shall be saved. Once again, O Lord of hosts, look down from heaven and see. Take care of this vine and protect what your right hand has planted, the Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. May your help be with the man of your right hand, with the Son of Man, whom you yourself made strong. Then we will no more withdraw from you. Give us new life, and we will call upon your name. Lord, make us turn to you. Let us see your face, and we shall be saved. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus. that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge. As the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you, that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by him you were called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. God is faithful, and by him you were called to fellowship with his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, 
Alleluia. 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 Show us, Lord, your love and grant us your salvation. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Be watchful, be alert. You do not know when the time will come. It is like a man traveling abroad. He leaves home and places his servants in charge, each with his own work, and orders the gatekeeper to be on watch. Watch, therefore, you do not know when the Lord of the house is coming, whether in the evening, or at midnight, or at cockcrow, or in the morning. May he not come suddenly and find you sleeping. What I say to you, I say to all, Watch. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So the first Sunday of Advent, what is it about? Well, to be watchful and alert and to have care. Mark used the word watch, watchful to be alert for Christ's second coming about our experience with death about how God is always present in other people in art in nature like that beautiful sunrise oh. God is there, yes. Last week, Pat Grable challenged us using Jesus' words. Always recognize Christ in those people that are hungry, thirsty, people without clothing, those that are sick or imprisoned. That is where we will see Christ today. We don't need to wait for some future date. He is already here. Today, some people will see this message and become afraid. Oh, Christ is coming again? I remember. This is silly. I saw a car with a bumper sticker on the back. It said, Jesus is coming. And then beneath that, ooh, it looks like you're busy. So that possibility, Jesus is coming, is it cause for fear? Or Jesus is coming, cause for joy? I believe joy. I remember the story, Martha, Mary, and Lazarus. Lazarus had died. And Jesus was you know, traveling, and several days later, he came across Martha. And he heard, when Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him, and she told Mary to stay and wait for when Jesus arrives. And Mary was happy to see him, but in her own words, I wish you had come sooner. Sometimes, I'll tease you, 
we look to the heavens waiting for Jesus to come again and we miss everything but one thing that gives me joy is the name of our church Emmanuel which means God is with us now Right. Let's wake up. Be watchful. Maybe Advent is really to be watchful and alert for when we become a gift to another person. God's love is inside of us and we share that love with people. People that are hungry, thirsty, sick, without clothing, etc., When our hearts are full of joy, God is truly with us. Then, when our love, which is God within us, is shared, we are true followers of Christ and His way. Amen. Let us pray. First, for our church, as the world celebrates a new year full of joy because God is with us, and we recognize. For this we pray to the Lord, Lord, receive our prayer. For the world struggling. We hunger for love, hunger for safety, hunger for food, for warmth and shelter. And yes, we are part of this world. Let's not be blind to Christ among us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayers. Also, we pray for those people we recognize in times of war that this is not God's plan. And may he more motivate us not to find a winner, but that our world leaders may bring us to peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayer. For those people that are sick, especially now during the winter, when it's cold and freezing. Those that are sick, including people from our church, like Mel Chua, Greg and Paula Rosa, Deanna DiVincenzo, and the list goes on. For the many others that we hold, may they regain their health from God's angels, like the doctors, nurses, interpreters, etc. We pray to the Lord, Lord, receive our prayers. Now we pray for those people that have died, especially from our community. Here. We continue to remember and cherish them always. We pray to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayers. God, we pray for happiness in the new year for all of your people on earth and that we may have peace and justice through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. The first time Jesus came to us, he became man like us. To enact your plan on earth and to gain for us heavenly eternity. When Jesus comes for the second time, we will all bow in honor as finally it has happened. As we eagerly wait for that day when your awesome will be made to happen as we wait with hope. So now we join together with all the angels and the saints as without end we acclaim Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he first took the bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper had ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Now we proclaim the mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by your Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop, and all those who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, herself the Mother of God, her blessed spouse Joseph, the twelve apostles and all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. Amen. Let us pray in the way that our Lord Jesus Christ has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the peace of Christ be with you all and with your spirit. Christ's peace is here. Share that peace with those around you. Peace be upon you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
This is for those of you that cannot come and receive communion at this time. Join me in this prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray, for even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has ended. Go now with peace in your heart, with love and and service to the Lord and each other. Thanks be to God.